What's up, everybody? I'm Adam Richmond, and I'm in Manchester, finally getting a chance to explore Manchester in a real way with the amazing guys from Meat Lust. I'm getting a chance to take a real deep dive through the street food scene, the up and coming restaurants, and these restaurants have been tasked by the Meat Lust guys to actually create a dish on their menu using the delicious Meat Lust sauces. We're also gonna check out some of the coolest, hippest, and hungriest breweries in this city. Guys that started their breweries in uni and are now absolutely changing the game, not just in Manchester, but in England as a whole. So I'm getting hungry, I'm getting thirsty, let's hit the road. Hey Adam. Hey, what's going on? How are nice you doing, brother? You. Lovely to meet you. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much for coming down. I've been looking at your sandwiches and they're absolutely amazing and yeah. psychotic. And what's your favorite? My favorite, got to be the Straight Up Soul, which is our classic grilled cheese sandwich. It's a three cheese blend, and that's the backbeat, the, the heart and soul of all our sandwiches. By the way, I'm so loving that I am in Manchester and he referenced the backbeat of it. It even sounded like a Gallagher when he said it. <laughs> May I try a katsu? I've never seen that on a restaurant menu outside of Japan, quite frankly, and certainly not with that kind of comfort food interpretation. Yeah. Can I have one? Of course you can, man. Let's, Let's go. Do it. All right, we're gonna listen to some Northern Soul after we listen to some, to some katsu loving. All right, so can we take it making the katsu? Yeah, of course we can. So we're gonna hit up our signature soul. Onto the grill, a nice three cheese blend. It's a quality cheddar, which is sharp. Huh? We've got mozzarella for the, the yes. money shop. We've got a secret lot of cheese in there that I wonder if you could tell what it is when we have a taste. I don't know, I should be better at cheeses than I am. Well, it's expensive, but it adds a real depth of flavor. I wonder if it's like something like Gruyere, because it always Gruyere is Winner, winner, is chicken it? dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mate, straight on it. There's a secret out. We've got some really nice northern fried chicken, not southern northern fried chicken. I love that. There, do you have your own signature herbs and spices? Yeah, all freshly made. Oh, hello. Yeah, man, that's the money shot right oh, there. Oh, I felt something. The slaw's made um, fresh every day, like an Asian style, style slaw. So it's got some nice cabbage, some carrots, some mints running through there, some chili, a little kick. The cheese needs the sharpness. So we've got the curry sauce from the meat lust. We're not shy with it. <laughs> the sauce is absolutely banging. There's a little signature. Uh, sesame seed on top. Oh, come on. Let me get one, man. There's a meatless katsu. This is our family portrait. This is this is our kid. A pickle to finish it off. Really just looks beautiful. This is one of those things you just kind of want to behold. <laughs> like still life with katsu. Oh, man, I love this bread. <laughs> I love this bread. Dude, I'm sorry. I'm having a little bit of a sandwich boner. <laughs> You're supposed to go for a corner on a sandwich like this so you could dip, but I'm gonna, I'll go in here. Crunchy. That is, that, excuse me, that's fantastic. Let's have a bite. Very good. Not good, man. The ingredients you add are so good that everything works together. The chicken is superb. Chicken is so juicy. The curry katsu sauce, every time I try it, depending upon the chef's ingenuity, I get something new. Um, I did not expect this. It's absolutely delicious. You have to try it. Oh my God. Just need a little bottle of curry now, mate. I just need a bigger mouth for a second one. I can just eat both halves at once. You know you want some. I may speak French, and I may speak uh, Spanish, I may speak Hebrew, but uh, I don't speak Mancunian at all. So I'm going to get my primer or trimmer on Mancunian slang, yeah? I'll, I'll try it, because I'm, I'm from Bolton, you see. So I'm, yeah, I'm pretending to be a man. Oh, I see. Well, do you know, do you know, so give me a little bit of slang. Expressions. Yeah, I know some expressions, yeah. So hit me with one. Well, one of my faves is shit house. Shit house. Shit house? Shit house, which is an insult. It, it could be like, you could even use it for like, if you go into the, you know, the, the toilet, the john, if you go into the toilet, go into the shit house, or you don't like someone, you shit house. We fell out and, you know. Ah, uh, yeah. Fucking shit house. Yeah, so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Fair play to him. Fair play. This is glorious. I'm assuming based on the aprons, this is your handiwork. Adam, how do you do? Sophie. Sophie. Nice to meet you. Matt, nice to meet you. Good to meet you, Chef. Uh, well, this is amazing. Thank you for this bounty. I am going, I talk a lot. 
I realized that now I need to shut the hell up and eat because this looks absolutely, I could just absolutely fucking amazing. So what we've done here is a kind of take on a ramen, but we've wrapped it up in what we would say a, a scotch egg, and then we've served it with a green sweet chili sauce. Oh, that's fantastic. It's pork mince? Yeah, so it's uh, pork mince um, with a little bit of gochujang mixed in with it, mm. uh, just to give it some flavor. I feel like Keith in the office. <laughs> Remember in America, your fanny means your ass over there, not your minge. <laughs> <laughs> You've had a nice day in Amsterdam and, and you want some food that, you know. He means you high as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got the, the pasty in true American style. We've put a cheeseburger inside that pasty. Dig in, dunk it in the barbecue sauce and, and take a bite. Okay. There we go. I love this. I, I really went in for like a really hefty <laughs> dip. You're gonna have a sweet. This is gonna be intense. I'm kind of like hoping it runs, but they make like a proper American sauce. This ain't going anywhere. I like to inject the sauce within the pastry. Oh! Yeah, he's, an he's a sauce injector. Yeah. Well, first of all, let me stand with my foot to you. <laughs> and second, uh, no, that's brilliant. You see, I'm a rookie, but maybe what I can do, I can create some piercings. You know what is really great about this? How fine the mince is. Mm. Yes. That if it were like a proper cheeseburger mince, it would be like too granular. So I grill the burgers, so you get the charred, smoky, barbecuey flavor, and then you you mix it all down. Oh, nice. you, you actually made proper burgers and then blitzed them? Yeah. We've got buffalo fried chicken. We've gone with a Lancashire cheese dip. Are you getting there? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, man down, man down. This is one I will shamelessly over dip. In one, in one. Oh, there we go. Mm. That is a Japanese mistake. Oh, that, is... that could be a food group. I know that there is more content to shoot, more of Manchester to see and to eat, but brother, you absolutely killed it. Drink pizza, eat mezcal. I don't know if you can do that, but I'm willing to try. Now, this is the best pizza in Manchester. So as a New Yorker and as a Brooklynite, I'm extremely excited to see if this is the realness. And then, how are you? What's going on, man? Oh, oh shit. What's up, Manchester? Man? We have to have some tequila, come on. What is your toast? Do you have a, do you have a toast that's your I don't toast? have time to toast, I drink so much tequila. What I will say to Meat Lust like and to the again. amazing, beautiful people of Manchester. Indeed, cheers, man. Thanks cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Manchester going up on a Wednesday. That's it. Woo. It's Tuesday, is it? Is it Wednesday? I don't even know what day is. Oh, it's Tuesday? No, I don't know. Fuck. I walked down, there's an amazing gothic sign. It says, drink pizza, eat mezcal. Yeah. How did that happen and what? Um, we're open until 4 a.m. every night. So you leave here and you're kind of fucked, yeah, when you leave here. So it kind of makes sense that things are fucked up around everywhere. Um, <laughs> and that's the worst description ever for my neon sign. Do you have a background in pizza? No. Um, um, <laughs> I've, got, I've got a background in drinking um, and, and, and bars and different things. So it's all sort of fucked up stuff on pizzas, but kind of works. <laughs> you know, we have chicken waffle pizza. We have like hot dog pizza, we have Big Mac pizza. What is the uh, meat lust pizza concoction that you've made today? So we have used uh, the katsu sauce, which, which I think is fucking spectacular. And it would have been ridiculous not to use that. You know, it's amazing. So we've actually removed our tomato base and we use katsu sauce on the base. And then we have then we have our cheese mix on there, which is 80-20, uh, mozzarella to cheddar, breaded uh, panko chicken, and then red and green chili. Then that is then put in the oven, uh, and then finished with soy shredded leek, cashew nuts, and then again finished with katsu sauce. We're doubling this shit up, yeah? yeah I think this is a competition, this thing, and I, I want to fucking win. I, I don't think it's about volume, but um, if it is about volume, I definitely won. <laughs> Should we, should we try some pizza? Yeah. What a great segue you are, Linda. <laughs> that, is, that is the segue of segues. Yeah, let's do let's this. Let's do it. Cheers, Cheers man. brother. Oh my gosh. Mm. First of all, props to your chef, Jerry. Yeah, like, the actual yeah, cooking of it, the temperature is great, the crust is awesome. But it's crazy because like you're holding a slice of pizza. 
you're getting cheese, and then every flavor is nothing like pizza. And yet there's like, I'm crunching through things, and then there's this oniony thing, and this coriander, cumin-y thing. It's, <laughs> it's addictive. It's like you take a bite and you're like, holy shit, that, that's really great. But I, why? Wait, let me try that again. To your amazing staff, brother, again. Oh, thank you so much for your hospitality. Right. Always. There's a lot of tequila to be eaten, a lot of pizza to be drank, and a lot of amazing <laughs> Mancunians to meet and greet and lots to eat. So I'm going to get out of here because I can't stand the heat. And I'll tell you, my time in Manchester is crazy sweet and can't be beat. That's the word on the street. <laughs> yes! And my lust is for me. <laughs> Biatch. <laughs> Thanks, brother. This time I am not starting with cheeseburger pasties, just beer. I'm gonna do some like Dean Martin level drinking right now. <laughs> this is like an SAS assault on your asshole, like a little bit, like a little bit. This is the ultimate pigs in blanket. <laughs> again, again. I'm gonna be working with you guys, and this is a very big dream come true for me. Sauce is one of the things I love making the most. I'm so excited, guys. Thank you for this. This is a really cool, cool opportunity. It's called the Sausage Insider. The Sausage Insider. Yeah! I feel, I kinda wanna call my mother and a priest, and I'm Jewish.